fight it out. That is completely silly that they don't give you any fight money for battle lounge matches. I know why, because they don't want you to game it. Instead, you'll just Same find reason. another way to game the system. Well, you'll just play versus over and over again. Or you'll play something else. <laughs> that seems to be what's happening. Who could have predicted it? When you make content too difficult to get, people will just go play something else. Yep. And if you uh, basically set the game up in such a way that doesn't really support the people who have to be your bread and butter, you're gonna have problems. Like, yeah, you're turning people are important, and you're gonna make money off of them, but you need to support you, your, uh, your casuals, too. Mm -hmm. Cause I mean, people, people who are spending money on the uh, DLC are just like, well, they're yeah. always gonna be there. Yeah, you basically, basically what they did, and this I don't think they did it intentionally, they basically set themselves back to Street Fighter 3. Mm -hmm. In terms of where their player base was. I mean, yeah, they got plenty of people playing it, but you the interest outside of the fighting game community isn't there anymore. Mm -hmm. Wanna see my kung fu? I'll show you. Honestly, I think they should have stuck with the traditional method of uh, content unlocking is like just play story mode or arcade mode. Oh, but you can't do that. There's no arcade mode. There could have been a, there have been a better equivalent to it. There should have been a better equivalent to it, I think. Yeah. It, it, it's easily the most toned up I've ever, ever think I've seen them be. So it's like it's kind of amazing. Mm-hmm. But like, why do that when you could potentially make a little bit more money? Completely alienate a bunch of fans. You know, whatever. What do I know? I don't run business. Yeah. <laughs> Which seems to be the big problem with a lot of things is I don't run a business. I think that about a lot of things that work too. Yep. Is, why is this like well, this? I see that all the time. Like, why don't we know anything about our online stuff when that's becoming a big deal and it's something that we market pretty heavily? Mm -hmm. You think that'd be kind of important, you know, for even that, even your salespeople to know what you can and can't do on that service. Yeah. Because the, the thing that gets me is when a uh, customer will have gotten told some bullshit, like um, what platforms do and don't work for that system, you know, for, for a certain channel or whatever, mm -hmm. only to have them go out and buy a, like for instance, I basically uh, this online TV streaming thing, right? You basically turn a device into a pseudo cable box. Um, and I had a, a sales agent tell somebody that it would work on a fire stick and they like swore up and down it was like oh I've got this at my house and I'm looking at this like there's no way you don't know you didn't know what you were talking about either you just straight up lied down still guy goes out and buys five fire sticks for his entire house none of them are gonna work with what he was trying to do based off this person that didn't bother to take five minutes to look it up not even five minutes, like maybe ten seconds. Oh, striker, tech support do actual work. Come on. I, our, our department does actual work. I don't. This isn't tech support. This is the problem. Sales is the problem. For sales, sales is even worse. It's actually doing work. It's like, what's that? Sales actually know what their product is? You're kidding me. It's like, how else are you gonna sell that sell that crap? I don't, it's like, I don't want to learn anything to do my job. That's crazy. <laughs> How irritating. Round two. And and I, like, I don't care. I got my commission. So it's like, well, great. 
cool because half story, the time they're not going to check it until it's too late anyway. And then, then you're just going to have angry people who are swear off your service, and then you're forced to uh, answer the question of why. I'm sure they'll get their act together eventually. But right now, it, like I said, the thing that bothers me is like, okay, this is a big deal. You, you've made, they're like marketing this, so it's like, you have to have your shit right. Well, tactically you do. Whether or not you actually do. No. Throw, throw Fireball Striker, come on, it's cool, it's fine. I don't think I will. Would I, would I lie to you? Yes. Shh, I would not. You win. Now you're on the bus, Striker. Um, the show is just me. Um, wait, what just happened? You got put on I the bus. I was in a bus, and then I was on the ground. <laughs> did I did I hallucinate the bus? I mean, what just the, happened? Was the bus never there to begin with? The bus was never there to begin with. Wait, are you recording? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I thought you probably would be. I wasn't sure. Let's see here. Yeah, I just... I don't understand... Uh, I don't know if you see if I'd have known that you were recording I probably wouldn't have said anything about what I would do for a living so that's that's why I asked that like where I work I can edit it out okay yeah I would I would appreciate if you edit that out Let's see you will instead just say that you're a tech monkey yeah well I, I work for a tech support job Don't go, don't go calling tech support numbers until you get get striker. It's not gonna work. Don't call in angry. That would be my number one suggestion. That's that's the that's the key to customer support. People are willing to help so long as you're not an asshole. Yeah, I mean, don't be a jerk. I mean, I had this guy calls in just, uh, and I look back, you know, he's been having a bunch of problems, but he had decided that he was going to handle it by calling in and cursing at anybody who told him what the solution was. Not talking to a supervisor, just just cursing that person out and hanging up. So not only are you not solving your, your problem, you're also just being an ass. <laughs> you just, you, there's no reason for you to do it except to be a jerk. I feel like it's one Actually, of those... I think I went in... Go ahead. It's like kind of how I feel about retail. It's like everybody should have to work it a couple months mm -hmm. to learn a little bit of uh, empathy. Yeah, it helps. I mean, what were you gonna say? I was saying this. I actually looked back in a guy's notes, and he like had some kind of confrontation at the actual, like at a at a physical store, and like they had to call the cops on him. <laughs> And I'm like, how does this guy still have service from us? There, there comes a point with a lot of places where if you're abusive like that, they're eventually going to drop your service. Getting there, perhaps? Probably. If he's not there already. But you see, he seems to be the type to want to get to that point. Mm-hmm. I don't like, get, and I don't. you know, I get being mad. I've I've seen you know my job screw people over. I've seen you know things not go like they're supposed to. And I've seen you know, again my job where they drop the ball, uh, you know, on every conceivable level. But that doesn't excuse calling in, cursing people out, and you know all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And and especially like I said, if you really need to get your issue fixed. You get a supervisor. Don't just hang up and then call again. That's not going to get you anywhere. You're just wasting your time at that point. Well, technically you're wasting other people's time too. But... You're wasting your time and everybody else's time, yes. Just uh, every everybody else's time a little bit less because they're already at work so they can't leave anyway. 
Right. Like, what was your goal calling in? You know, to, it wasn't to get the problem fixed, otherwise you would have, you know, pursued it instead of hanging up before anybody could do anything for you. Yeah. But, you know... Actually, I was gonna say, it's like I kind of get it, but no, I I don't get it at all. Right, well, like I said, I'm, I'm focused on trying to get the problem solved. Whatever I've got to do to get that to happen. And that I understand, you know, wanting to get the job done. Mm -hmm. I don't understand, you know, just, just, you know, again, like I said, it's not just calling any person, it's, it's you, then you hang up and then nothing gets fixed. And then you have to call back in again. Yeah, it's like I said, you've just wasted some a little bit of somebody's time and... Or I guess maybe, maybe not even wasting somebody's time. Instead, it's like you just killed a couple minutes for them. Yep. That's kind of how I feel whenever somebody just kind of like... Waste a couple minutes of my time. It's like, well, that was a couple minutes. I didn't have to do any real work, so thanks, I guess. Yep. And if there's something something I love, it's not having to do real work. Of course. That is it's literally the my Capcom way of life. Yeah, that is literally my favorite thing. Unless it's like complete something completely inane. Yep. Like people who just talk and talk and talk and don't actually say anything. <laughs> Not like if you're gonna do that, at least make the conversation entertaining. Yep. Rather than uh, rather than just talking to hear yourself talk, basically. There's a lot of that. Oh, low, low one instead of a high one. My bad. Finally, I moved in. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it just showed like a close up of Mika's head weighing. Well, Dash goes like, "Holy shit! Pull that down." <laughs> 